Uh, this is Mr. Oman. We are going to uh, be creating a part file today and we'll create uh, a smiley face uh, to get you warmed up on Inventor. So please uh, create a new part. We are going to start a new sketch. Make sure you hit the button part of it, not the pull down menu down below. Hit the button. We're going to pick the upright XY plane, the left click. Okay, to get things started, to get our smiley face going, we're going to choose the circle command. Left click right on the center XY00 zero zero point right here when the point turns green. Simply pull this out, but do not click. You will be typing the number 5 on your keyboard and the enter key. So there was no second click of your mouse. Uh, right there, so you have a five inch circle. I clicked once, I pulled it out, and I typed five enter, but not a second mouse click. Okay, I'm going to continue on with the circle command, which is already on, by drawing somewhere up in this area. I'll draw a one inch circle, so one enter. Over to the right, take a guess, do a single left click. Let's draw another one inch diameter circle enter. Okay, now these aren't in the right spot yet. They're just approximately in the right place. So we'll come back, we'll measure those out uh, towards the end. If you'd go up to where your button says rectangle, two points, click the menu. There's other command choices. Go down to polygon. We want to do a three-sided or a triangle. So change that number to three. You just have to type and it will update right there. So now we're going to be clicking the center point and pulling out uh, a triangle. And you can just take a guess. I don't care what size for now it is. <clears throat> okay, it can even be a little, a little bit crooked. And we will straighten that out <clears throat> to be a little bit later. Okay, and onto the mouth. One point five is our radius right there. Okay, let's draw one more side to our, our smiley face. And how about just a one inch radius right there. Alright, so they had they share the same endpoints so far. Okay, let's clean our drawing up a little bit. Okay, let's start by using the dimension command for a while. Dimension. Okay, we would need to get this distance from the center of the circle to the y axis to be one inch. So you have to click the center point down here. Make sure you're right on it there to the center of the circle. And notice how you can pull your dimension line either to the left or up and down. Let's pull it up to the top and a left click to set it down. And you can just type one at this point and enter and notice that it moved this over for me, one inch. Let's do the very same thing again to the eyeball on the right. Center point to center point. It's measuring the left-right distance between those. Click it down, and one enter. Okay, so I clicked once in the center, twice in the center there, and a third time up here to set it down before I typed. Okay, we've got them measured out uh, left to right. Now we need to make sure they're the right distance uh, up and down um, right here. Uh, let's do the same thing except so the same center points, but let's make it 1.25 this time. So it should move it down a little bit. And same over here, 1.25. Okay, these turn pur purple, meaning they're fully constrained, they're locked in, they cannot be moved, okay, because of these dimensions are locking them in place. These ones are still green because they're not locked yet. They could get changed. Okay, let's move into the constraints. Constraints help you to line things up or lock things down. Um, let's use the horizontal constraint, so please find that button, two horizontal lines right there, do a left click on it. And I would want to change this triangle so it's lined up and straight. I'm going to pick the bottom edge and now constrain that. You can see that symbol. It is locked 
uh, in that position right there. Okay, that's good enough. Do not worry if it doesn't turn purple. That is okay. All right, and lastly, I'd like to line up the ends of the mouth with the centers of the eyeballs here. Okay, and instead of a horizontal constraint, we'll be using the vertical constraint right next to it. Right there, find the two vertical lines. Okay, we are going to click the center point of the eye with the center, or I'm sorry, of the end point of the mouth. It slides that over. Okay, and again, the button's already on up there. Center point to center point right there. So it had to adjust the size of the mouth uh, to allow both of these to constrain in place. Okay, so that looks good to me. And lastly, let's move this mouth up just a little bit. So let's dimension and center point to end point. Let's make that, let's set that down and make that uh, one inch even right there. So the eyes are 1.25 up and one inch over and the mouth is an inch down from the center point of the, of the face. Okay, it looks like we are done drawing it, so you can hit finish sketch. All of this information should be in sketch one. It should not be mixed into two different sketches. Uh, if you do have two different sketches, you're probably going to have to delete one of them and redo and finish all of your work on one sketch. Okay, so hit finish sketch. You can use the wheel to roll out, or you can use the home button right there to center it. Looks good. Let's turn this flat two-dimensional drawing. Let's turn that into a 3D object. All right, let's extrude the, th the uh, 2D object. I'm going to select kind of over by the cheek over here so that it gets that part of the face and not the holes. One inch deep is fine. Sure, we'll hit OK. OK, and just for fun, we're going to hit the fillet button. It's set right now at, one, at 0.125. Let's hit the edges and round those over. Like so. Hit apply. Okay. And just for fun, you can also add, add a material or if you'd like to add some color. Oops. You can select an object and pick a color for it. Okay, and I'll leave that coloring part up to you. Okay, we'll do a save as. I'm going to have you guys save it in student share. Double click on East Junior High. Tech Ed. Omen, whatever hour you're, you're in. All right, and if you would type your name, so not my personal name, your own name, as the file name, and hit save. Once you've saved it, you can then export a picture. I'm going to have you turn in a picture or an image not the entire inventor file. Okay, so just take, take a picture of this thing. Okay, save it as a JPEG file. That's the type of picture file I'm asking for. All right, and it's that picture file that you're gonna submit uh, on Canvas um, for grading.